here at Millie's photo shoot. I'm not sure how long we're gonna be here, but I'm sure we'll get some great photos to share with you guys. And I'm really hungry. So today I had the chance to model some wearable technology from the fashion company Make Fashion, which makes uh, interesting, very unique pieces that combine fashion with technology in a way that just really hadn't been done before. For example, I modeled a dress of theirs that uh, would change color and uh, light up based on your attention level. How much attention you were paying to something or someone at the time. Kind of a, a scary one there, I don't know if I'd wear that on a regular basis. But they also make really neat things like uh, light up jewelry and clothing that regulates your body temperature. Things that monitor your heart rate and, and vital signs that you wear on an everyday basis. And I think it's really neat to be a part of a company that's so forward thinking and take something like fashion that there are only so many patterns, there are only so many designs before you're really just doing the same thing again. But with these guys, what they're doing is incredibly unique because they're combining two different worlds that really have never gone together before. And it's something special. It's, it's something that I'm definitely gonna be happy to tell my grandkids I was a part of. We're at the photo shoot for Make Fashion. She's killing it, killing it, killing it. Really, really great designers on this dress. They work really hard on it. There's a lot of details. I might be in Take a look, I'm guys. sorry. Bye. Oh, it's okay. You're part Bye, of the guys. design team. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Having fun, huh? It's entertaining. <laughs> All right, let's get you in the same spot. Sounds good. Glamorous life of being married to a model. Walking around. Wait. And wait. Hey guys, so today we are on our way to introduce you to our new team member and cameraman Lynn Dross. And we are checking out our brand new sailboat that we technically haven't bought yet. Our learning boat. Yeah, it's kind of exciting stuff. Hey guys, how's it going? How was the ride here? Good. Just saying, yeah, step in, take a seat. It's nice to step off the fender there. Okay. Yeah. How, how big it feels. So yeah, everybody gets in this way, but me and Gage get in the other way. We well, get we get in so our, our heads are down there, so it's the easier to get out. Easier it's easier, yeah. Oh, this way you can literally just grab. Is it easier? And, yeah, it is. Like, that's pretty easy. It is when, well, when there's not well, stuff. Yeah, in there. there's one person. But yeah, you got a ton of stuff. <laughs> okay. Also, my, I think my favorite part of the whole boat—I don't want to get in there with my shoes. Is he just rip these and chill like this? You just relax. It's nice. You got a, a wind. Oh there. yeah, and then when it gets really windy, you just fucking chill. You're just like, oh yeah. Two people can easily sleep in here. Tons. And what's awesome is your head goes here, someone else's head goes here, you're never gonna wake up looking at the other fucking person. <laughs> I've always kind of been into sailing and I realized you guys were into sailing a few weeks ago and kind of just hit it off and now we're moving forward learning to sail and hopefully get a big boat soon, next few years. Get on the water. A year and eight months. Yeah. It's actually kind of like crazy how soon it is because we've been thinking about this for so many years. You know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Sailing at night or slash being on the water at night, literally there's not one single boat on this water because of how rough the water was. There was not one wakeboard boat. Me and Gage were sailing to like a It was beautiful. It was just like, oh. 
Yeah, you could lie down on it. We're wanting a cushion so it's nice and comfy. So can you sail at night? Will cops tell you you can't sail nope. at night or what? Well, one, there won't be any cops up there. Two, you just have to have lights. Yeah. Some yeah, lakes say no overnight. Yeah. But it's not overnight. Also, yeah, but you're also most of the time doing. See the hairline fractures? Oh yeah, yeah. That's just cosmetic. Good. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, except for around this keel needs to be. I want to get this dot dealt with as soon as possible. But all around the deck, you'll see here, all in here. There's just tiny. That's all in the gel coat, not the fiberglass. And this was hand laid fiberglass. Strip. And yeah, it's dope, man. You can lie up here too. The sails are up. Suntan. Lines. Yeah, that's my anchor. That's filled with foam. Okay. Same with underneath here, so it can't sink. Buoys, can't go wrong. Nope. There's for the knot for your phone, so you can measure knots. Oh, excellent. Yeah, and then, and then yeah, I was telling James, you can lie up here, suntan. It's actually really stable. I'm thinking about the handles like right here. 